Well, the, the, what we can do is, like I said, um, I'll entertain the motion to um, add the Barrett Street. It, it's actually a neighborhood area, problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could name all the streets over there where I constantly get complaints from, and it seems like a lot of them go into the Elliott Miola area <coughs> because of maybe the way it's pitched. So requesting that um, those be added to the list also so for an engineering study. Second. Barrett Miola. Yep, all of the ones that, that we've mentioned. <coughs> Barrett, Miola, they, they, it's all the neighborhood. The general area. The general neighborhood. <laughs> neighborhood. Do I have a second? Second. A motion has been made and seconded. All of those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. Oh, I think Councilman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, item number 25, we received a request from Jay Metzner in neighborhood for discussion and possible vote on a noise disturbance <laughs> emanating from CrossFit North Providence located at 975 Child Street. Is Mr. Metzner here? <laughs> oh. So it's uh, Met Metzger, M-E-T. Z as in zebra, G E R J Metzger. Hi, good evening. Thanks for taking our time. Really appreciate it. Uh, I printed out some things for everyone. I hate to start things off with an apology, but Staples failed me, and um, some things aren't necessarily as clear as I'd like. But I figured I could maybe walk you through a little bit. I have it here just to make sure we're all on the same page. And I'm not sure, uh, Madam Town Clerk, I know I sent you some things today. I'm not sure if that got a chance to get passed out or... I did. Okay. So I'm, in front of you, you should also have a map that I created um, showing the area of disturbance. Um, it'll have yellow and green dots. I don't know if you... I can... I have it on my computer as well. Um, Could I ask you a question before you go through this? Please. And I appreciate that you did all this. Could you give us an overview why you're here, and then we can take this information home and look at it and read it, and, and then I'm sure we may have to see you again or wherever we're going to refer it to, but I'll be very honest with you, to sit and read it and follow it for the first time, I really need time to, to look at it first. Oh, please, that's so totally fine. So give us the overview of what the issue is. Sure, the, the overview. So. It started about uh, a month ago, a little over a month ago now. Um, I've been at 57 Rose Street for three years. Um, it was on a Saturday evening. I started hearing a noise, and I couldn't tell the start of the noise. I couldn't. It, it, it was a weird noise, and I've been there for a long time. I mean, as you know, that area, we live close to Charles Street, so I'm not pretending that it's a, a, nun, a nunnery. I mean, we get some noise from the street. But this noise was weird. It, I could feel, my, I was shaking a bit. Um, it was a loud booming, almost like a mortar shell. And it kept happening, but it was sporadic. It would happen and stop and happen and stop. So this went on for a, a couple of days um, before I realized it was coming from 975 Charles Street, which when I first moved here three years ago, it was a kitchen supply store. And then it became a uh, annex to Village Motors. And then it became a mattress store. And now it's the CrossFit gym, Ocean State CrossFit. Um, so when I realized where the noise was coming from, um, it, it sort of shed some light on the topic. Now, they start their workouts. What it, basically what it is is, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with CrossFit gyms, but in a sense, they mix, I would say, mixed martial arts, aerobic exercises, with heavy Olympic style uh, weightlifting. So in a sense, they're doing technically the right thing, but they'll lift weight over their head and they allow it to come dropping to the ground. When that weight hits the ground, it causes a seismic boom. And because I am close enough, I get the worst of it. Um, but my house shakes and my walls shake. 
And it's very disturbing. And that can happen when there's one person lifting weights. Because they start at 5.15 in the morning, I know it's one person because I stopped over there before to tell them, hey, it's 6 in the morning, please. And, and the one person there is like, oh, I'm sorry. So one person lifting weights is enough to shake my house <laughs> and wake me from sleep. Um, have you contacted any? Yep, so you'll have a letter uh, that I wrote to the owners of Ocean State CrossFit uh, over, just over a month ago now. Um, I feel like the letter was fair. You know, like I said, there have been four businesses in this one location. And at no point are we fighting a business. I mean, look, I, I've had issues with the Village Motors. They would park in my driveway. They would, there would be parking issues. Um, I would welcome a stable business. So my first thing was, yeah, I wrote the letter to Ocean State CrossFit. And in the letter, I said, gee, welcome to the neighborhood. There's an issue. And let's work together to fix this issue. Um, so you'll have a copy of that letter, or at least you should. Um, that was my first step. I didn't know. It's nice to meet all of you, but I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know much about town councils and things or local government, so I didn't know that, pardon me, uh, uh, Councilman Lynch and, and Warren were my councilman. I had no idea. So I reached out right away. I, I reached out to anyone who would get back to me, and Sergeant Diana Perez got back to me pretty quick. And um, she's helped me to at least document a lot of things that are going on. But um, I did are receive you doing a that, uh, Jay? Please. Are you doing that, you said? Doing that? Documenting? Everything. You, uh, yeah. Everything. I mean, yeah. Oh. Yeah. E okay. Everything. I mean, like, this has been a second job for me because I have a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, uh, my wife. It's, it's <coughs> you look at my eyes, they're bloodshot because last night they're left in weights till 8.30 at night, and it's booming every time. It's boom, boom, boom. And the thing about this CrossFit is, is that they all come in and they do the same workout. So there's 15 people in a class and they have five aspects of the workout, A, B, C, D, and E. And let's say A is do 50 push-ups, and then B is do 15 reps of some weight you're gonna lift over your head and drop on the ground. So everyone starts at A. And you can imagine that of 15 people, one of those people is gonna be the best. So they're gonna get on the lifting first. So you start hearing, boom. And all of a sudden, two people, boom, boom. So and what it, would you like us to do? I, I mean, I, I have some consider, some things I can consider. Um, sure. The councilman in the district, I don't know if they have any thoughts. So we're dealing with now, it's a, a persistent noise issue, correct? That's correct. Are there any other um, issues besides noise issues that you're dealing with? Yes, be yes. because well, first of all, I, I, I don't think, I've done a lot of research in CrossFit gyms now. There are lawsuits in other parts of the country where people are suing CrossFit gyms for the amount of noise they put out. Um, what I want to happen is I want, to, I want them to stop making the noise. So your issue is the noise. And then the general population of that location. They had their grand opening on Saturday. They invited the town of North Providence to come out. Guess where those people parked? Up and down our street. They were blocking, these are all images you'll see in there. They block my neighbor, they block my neighbor's driveway. She had to go around the block to then park in her street. Um, they, they like to do workouts outside. This building has two garage doors on either side. They had both those garage doors open during the grand opening. You'll see in the second section, I've, I've uh, downloaded an app that's a decimal reader. I'm able to take decimal readings, email them to myself, bring them to Excel and graph them. The most graphic one I think there is about the grand opening. They had both the doors open. The ambient noise around our house is about 53 decibels. Um, they're pushing 80 decibels when they're yelling and screaming and everything, having a good time. Now that's great. I mean, look, I'm not fighting a business. However, I don't think this business fits in this location. I did some research as well. Of the, this is an affiliated CrossFit gym, which means there's a national CrossFit organization they belong to. I went to CrossFit.com and they have an affiliate map. It brings you to a live Google map that gives you points for every affiliated CrossFit gym in the world. I zoomed into Rhode Island, and I was able to zoom into each location. There are 21 CrossFit gyms in Rhode Island affiliated with this national uh, organization. 20 of the 21 CrossFit gyms are located in industrial or truly commercial strip malls. You have a copy of that movie that was sent to the, to the clerk I put together. It goes through 20 locations, industrial, bulldozers, mining, a strip mall, blah, 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 all the way through. And take a guess 
There's one that's located in a residential area. Guess which one it is? Oh, North Please. Providence. North Providence. And it's funny because in that video you'll see industrial everywhere and then ours. One building surrounded by houses, surrounded by houses, surrounded by houses. I've talked to the owner personally on the phone. The councilman came down. We went and talked to them together. Let me just say bluntly, he hasn't been overly accommodating or generally nice. They could, they could give a little more descriptive sort of wordage on how he's been, but this is the problem. It's 5.15 in the morning, 8.30 at night. I'm putting my daughter down for sleep, and she keeps waking up. Noise, noise. I, to be honest, I, I get emotional because it's, it's driving me crazy, and most people have noises that bother them. Nails on a chalkboard bother some people, not me. This noise gets me to my core because it's, I almost feel like I have PTSD at work because it's any, it's a big, if a box truck goes over a, a pothole, it makes the noise, boom. So uh, let me just, this is about the noise in the neighborhood. Is it about the parking in the neighborhood? Sure. So we have noise and parking. It's a quality of life. Quality issue. of life, quality. absolutely. Quality of life issue. Okay. Okay. It, it, please yeah. come up if it's if it's about noise. We've already heard the noise. We uh, we understand that. If it's in addition to noise, it's not too long. I'm sorry. Can I have a paper for everybody also? Just state your name. Oh, I'm sorry, Angelique Mucci, 58 Rose Street. Um, I'm a lifelong mem uh, resident here of North Providence. I'm a former business owner here in North Providence. I also work for the school department here in North Providence. Um, and you'll see on that paper, I just put, it's not even, we're also concerned, this noise, everybody's coming out and they're saying, well, we don't hear it. We don't hear it. Well, you can't hear it from outside. It's a vibration that's coming through the ground, through our foundations. Mr. Messer here has a finished basement. Go in his basement, you can't believe it. My mother's helping me. I'm home recuperating from an accident. She was in my basement doing the laundry. Bang, it, and you hear the vibration. We're also concerned about structural damage to our foundations, the underground pipes, are uh, they responsible, that, that constant banging? And like you said, that's one person where they could have up to 20, 25 people. You'll see on this paper that I gave you that I put times in one minute, in, uh, where do I have it? I have something in here that in like one, 11 minutes, it went off 25 times. You're just hearing bang, bang. I have decorative dishes on the wall. I've had them fall off. We were lucky enough to have a police officer come out at one of the times and hear it. He was in my house. We were speaking to him and he stopped me. He said, is that the sound right there? And we're like, yes. You know, our children, uh, there's children in the neighborhood. We were, Saturday they had their grand opening. And like I said, we're not against the business. I could have called the cops Every time, because they told us, Sergeant Perez told us to document it every time. It was their grand opening. I let it go. But I was sitting in the parlor trying to watch TV. I had to leave my home. And when pulling out of my home, out of Rose Street, cars parked on both sides of Child Street where we couldn't see to pull out of the street. We were taking a chance pulling out of our, our road because these cars are parked there, and we said, this is with our windows and doors shut. What happens when warm weather comes right around the corner? They've got those going. They're yelling, they're dropping these weights. They, have, they play music extremely loud. It's also a music issue. And this is just going to continually go. I have a dog, I don't know if this really matters, but that, my dog feels that, that vibration, hears that sound barking continuously. Madam President. And it, yes. you know, and it's early. <coughs> Councilman, do you see? Have, we, have, have, have you had the police come out there with the meters to check the noise? Mm, no, no police have come out with meters. We've called meter. zoning. Maybe we should. Councilman Juicy. Maybe we should send yeah, a I'm not. It, it, it's, it's, 
it's unbearable. No, I, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just saying. I, if, if I could, if, if, we, could, if we can have the police document the noise with with the meters, like we do for the for the nightclubs and stuff like that. Yeah, you'd have to I mean, go in the house and just sit in the basement for an hour. Well, yeah. I have, according to them, it's all the time. So right, well, not that's what I mean. Maybe we should send a letter to the police department. Have a and police officers start going out there. Well, I think what they're doing from what I've, I've listened to is every time there's an incident, they're documenting it. Officer Perez has told them to document it. Um, the sustained noise, unlike music playing and banging, it's not the, the sustained, like we dealt with some of the, the entertainment licenses. It's what it's doing um, through the vibration. I don't think that having a, a decibel meter there Sunday or Saturday <coughs> when they had their grand opening was different probably because they had all the doors opening, they had you know, music being played, people yelling. I don't think a decibel, decibel reader would be able to, but I do agree that sending, what we, we need to do is make a decision because I don't technically think it's a council decision, it, it, it sounds like it's more of a zoning issue. That's what oh, I good. Was gonna, yeah. Hold on, please. please. Hold on one second, please. Councilman Lynch, it, it, have you gone down there to see it is or it isn't? No, I have, I have not gone down there because this has been developing as we spoke and when, when we first went to the owner of the property, the owner of the property basically asked us to leave. Mm. Well, myself, I went with uh, right. Councilman Lynch in. We went in there, introduced ourselves, and he turned to Jay and said, well, now that you brought the, the town it's involved in it, uh, we really, I don't really want to talk about it. So we explained the concerns and the quality of life, and he said, I'd rather work with Jay one-on-one -on -one without the town involved and me and Councilman Lynch if that's what we would like. And that's how he left it. But he didn't seem uh, overly uh, concerned <laughs> that the town council was involved in it. And then after that, that's when they had the grand opening, and that was only a week ago, and here we are today. And it, it's my understanding, what I'm being told with these CrossFit gyms, once the warmer weather comes, then, then they start the uh, military-style programs outside. Oh. So at 5 o'clock in, in the morning, the doors go up, they line up outside, and they run cadence through the neighborhoods. And it's they can't do that, though. They can't do what they're doing now, but they do it. No, but I'm saying that this is why I say let's right. get a letter to the police department. <clears throat> get them down there. Get them involved. And, and you say they might not be able to get a decibel. I don't know. Well, Sergeant Perez. Let's find out. Let them we, we, we did speak to Sergeant Perez. She did go down and meet with Jay. She's been actively involved with the neighborhood, Sergeant Perez. Can I ask it seems to be a. Uh, it seems to be, I think, a zoning issue. I don't know if, 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 this, if this building is originally zoned for this type of environment. I think that's one thing that we need to do is send a letter to, who, who's in charge of zoning now? I just found out Eddie Savito left. Kelly Morris. Well, we need to send, I, I think we need to send a letter to Kelly Morris to find out if in fact this facility is in its proper jurisdiction, if the zoning is in fact the right zoning for this neighborhood. Because, I mean, Hey. Is there? Um, I'll, I'll second that. Oh, hold on, please. Please don't talk out of term. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second that motion. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded. All of those in favor? Aye. Aye. All of those opposed? The yeah. ayes have it. Yeah. I also think that that letter should be cc'd. I'll entertain a motion to cc that letter to the chairman of the zoning board. So moved. Second. A motion has been made and seconded. All of those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Did you want to say something, ma'am? My name is Janice Osworth. I live on 60 Rose Street, so I'm further... Would you just say your name again, Jill? It's Janice. Oh, Janice. Osworth. A-L-L-S-W-O-R-T-H. Yes. I'm a longtime resident of North Providence, longtime homeowner. As far as the zoning board, None of my neighbors that are here tonight, including myself, received any notice from the zoning board that this business was going to move in, which is 
not the normal way that it happens. When Village Motors Annex was going in there, all the neighbors within a certain radius, and I don't know what it is, received a notice. There was nothing with this. That's why I just recommended the and we, letter go to the chairman of the zoning board also, because I don't remember seeing it on a it, public document, like having a public meeting on it, and instead of it just going to the, the new person, Kelly, I, I actually asked her to come and introduce herself, and she never came. I don't know if every, anyone has ever, hold on, I don't know if anyone has ever met her, all the council people, but um, that's why we're CCing the, uh, the zoning board for the chairman to take this up also. Yeah, and I just, I'm concerned that we weren't notified as as homeowners, right? right. Th that I agree. is it, because we had no opportunity to addre address right. concerns, to ask more about. I don't. I didn't know what CrossFit was until right. now. I know what it is, and the and I'm further down the street. And I will tell you just this little story, and then we can, you know, whatever. But I kept. You, you felt these booms. I had no clue where they were coming from, and I'm like, okay, what are they doing? Road work <laughs> around here. I drove around the neighborhood. There was nothing. I'm down in my cellar at night, like I can really fix anything if anything was going wrong, looking for something, thinking it was the furnace. Called the oil company, had them come and check out the furnace, afraid. If you heard the noise, that's what it sound. It just, it's not even hearing, it's this awful vibration. Excuse me. It wasn't until I talked to my neighbor and said, do you happen to know what that noise is? Because I still couldn't figure it out that she said it was a gym. And all of that then came into play. And we have been... All of us have contacted Kelly. Um, she was scheduled to come out. Um, I don't know the exact date. I'm sure Jay does. She canceled because her boss, whoever that is, couldn't come and has never rescheduled with us. So it's concerning to me, again, as a longtime resident, that that wasn't taken as seriously as I would have liked by the zoning board. No, it wasn't. I, I don't believe the zoning board ever heard it. Right. I think it was just put there without bypass it was, no I, right. I don't disagree with that but right. as so. now now we're paying the price for this right, right. for how, how however that process was bypassed and you know there's processes in place for a reason I agree and, and I'm all about processes absolutely and compliance and compliance that's my job that's what I do I do that you've I've heard the word compliance all night here tonight you've been absolutely, there all night no, and I've been shaking right. my head because that's what I do for for a living so I'm right. I'm fully but obviously something fell through the cracks here that needs to be addressed because it's it's not right. It's simply not right. Thank you. If, if I may, just two quick points, and I'll put the microphone down. Um, the first is that uh, one of the things I asked in the letter to the owners was that they please adhere to general noise ordinances, being 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. <laughs> That's clearly stated in the letter. Since the second I sent that letter, nothing stopped. They still insist on starting too early. Now I will say. It's even more disappointing that as I've been in touch with Sergeant Perez, she's let me know that, they, that the police department will not um, enforce that 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. law. And I don't know why. I told her I don't understand why. If I'm making that kind of noise, and Angelique's, it's 5 in the morning, if I'm out there dropping things and making noise, she can call the police and say it's too early. I don't understand why a business would be exempt to that. The second thing I'll say is, um, speaking with Ms. Morris in particular, um, this has been ongoing for a month, and neither the owners of the gym, anyone from the zoning board, or the landlord from the building have been in my house to hear the noise. And I've been specific with Ms. Morris particularly. You have to be in our houses, because the mayor came down and called me and said, oh, I met with the owner, he was, out, he was dropping weights, we're in the parking lot, I didn't really hear anything, we'll figure it out. And I said, no, Mr. Mayor, you have to be in my house. So Ms. Morris called me on a Saturday and said, well, I went down to the CrossFit gym and I met with the owner and I was standing in the parking lot and he was dropping weights and I had told her she could go in my yard. She said, I was standing on your porch and I didn't hear anything that would be disturbing to me. And I, I said to her, Ms. Morris, once again, you have to be in my house. And then she said, well, here's the thing. Uh, we, this town has to protect our residents. We also have to protect our businesses. And this gentleman says he'll spend $20,000 on padding and insulation if you, can t if you can guarantee you'll stop calling the police. And I said, how in the world could I guarantee you that? I, all I want is my peace and quiet back. I want my sanity. So if $20,000 in insulation <laughs> solves that, absolutely. 
But if it doesn't, I'm going to be right back here in front of you saying it's not happening. This guy, too, when, when, when I invited, I invited the owner to meet with the councilman and myself the morning they came down. I, I said to him on the phone, they're coming Saturday morning. He said, I prefer not to get any politicians involved. I said, well, they're already involved. He said, well, I prefer to keep this quiet. I said, I understand that, but they're coming Saturday. You're welcome to come as well. And of course, he didn't have any events where they were dropping weights, so we couldn't listen to it. But he thinks that by not doing things, it's going to stop. No, because as soon as they start again, one person doing it at 5 o'clock in the morning shakes my house and wakes me up. Thank you for your time tonight. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. What I'd like to do is email you all this presentation because the printing didn't turn out great. At least you can see what I've done and, and understand for yourselves what we're going through. But it's, I've, I'm at the end of my rope with it. And my daughter is being affected. And my liveliness is being affected. And it's just all I want to do is go home and, and relax in my house. And the funny thing is, when there's no noise going on, I stand outside, how much I appreciate that peace and quiet now. Because when, when the gym's going on, it's nonstop. Thank you. Councilman Lynch? Oh, yes, Madam President. I'd like to make an additional motion. I'd like to make a motion that when we send this letter to, um, to uh, uh, Kelly, uh, what's her name? Morris. Morris. To Kelly Morris. If, in fact, if this building is not in compliance, then zoning should send, the, uh, send them a, a, no, a violation notice immediately. They have to be put on record, and all of this has to be taken care of immediately. We can't let this keep on lingering. And also, I'd like to make this uh, so. So that's a, motion. that's a motion. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. And I'd like to make it one more. I'd like to make a motion to send a letter to the police department requesting uh, a D-list run at 975 Charles Street, and also, uh, in, uh, or should this be a separate motion, that they um, uh, look, look to enforce the noise ordinance law that's already on, on the books, and if they could enforce that also. So they're going to go inside his house, Jim. That's okay. Yeah, anytime okay. they want to come, they're more no, than welcome. I'm just saying, but you're, you're going to tell them that. In other words, they can't just drive up there and... They'll get no. They'll get no thing. They got to go into somebody. For the noise ordinance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In, in that. Uh, in that um, motion or that letter to the police department, notifying them that they have to enter. Um, what.